This is Dave from DQ Studios and Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets, and I'm here to share with you how we've figured out how to reliably send uh, images from our Fuji directly to our iPhone via this little Wi-Fi SD card from Transcend. We've also tried the Mobi from iFi, which automatically downloads the images to your iPhone, all images to your iPhone, but I don't like the fact that, um, it, one, we find it really flaky, and two, I can't choose which images to fill up my iPhone with, so it really um, takes up a lot of space on my iPhone. So the Transcend we found to be more reliable, but it has its own quirks, as we'll get to, but we found some workarounds that help us preserve the battery life and um, lets us get our image onto our iPhone reliably too. So let's get started. The first thing to note with the Fuji is there seems to be a couple of settings that might matter but actually don't. And uh, if you go to the menu and if you go to the last wrench, there's a setting there called iFi transfer and you can choose off or on it doesn't matter when you're using the Transcend. <laughs> so you can keep it off here, it doesn't matter. Another setting is in the wrench number two under power management. And the Transcend manual tells you to turn power management off. This also doesn't matter because as you'll see in a second, um, the Fuji, at least in my firmware, supplies battery power, uh, so allows power to the SD card even when the camera is off. And that is really quite strange. So, how do we deal with that and how can we kill power to it? Here we go. Here's, first of all, how we connect. So, make sure you've got your Transcend Wi Fi card stuck inside here, and then you want to dislodge the battery. So, you're killing the power, making sure that you're cycling the power off and then back on by turning it on, and then we want to turn the camera on. And don't panic, it takes about 30 seconds for it to start broadcasting the Wi-Fi signal. And it's just like your router at home. If you turn it off and on, it doesn't instantly start broadcasting the Wi-Fi signal. It takes a little bit for it to get its settings proper and then starts broadcasting. So now we're gonna turn our attention with that on, turn our attention to our iPhone. So go to settings, uh, go to Wi-Fi, and in uh, after about 20, 30 seconds, you should see the Wi-Fi SD network show up. And that is your SD card. Da -da -da. And we can just, oh, there we go, Wi-Fi SD. So click on that. This is also really confusing. The password default is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And no matter how careful you are, and you'll notice that uh, I typed the right password, you hit join, it'll actually say incorrect password, right? And so sometimes it takes two or three times for me to hit this, and I'm not retyping it. I'm just gonna hit join, third time's a charm. So really weird. It can have you questioning whether you can actually type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, now it worked. So we're connected, and now it's time to open up the app that is free from Transcend. And what's weird, I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna turn off the power to the Fuji X100S. So now the power's off, the LCD's off, you'd think that the camera's off and you're not destroying your battery. And you'd be wrong because the um, SD card is still being powered. And so we're gonna hit the Transcend app here. And even though my camera is off, the battery is still being used by the uh, Wi-Fi SD card. And um, right now, I'm just going to hit Browse, and in the latest folder, you'll see all the images that are on the SD card that resides inside of this camera. Very cool. Now, if I want to take a look at one of the thumbnails bigger, just click on the image, and it doesn't download the image to your camera yet, it just previews it for you. So if you like that picture, then you can click on this icon on the lower left and hit download to camera roll. And now it downloads the image for you. So that's really nice. I can, I can actually preview the image before I choose which one to download, then I can share that on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you wanna do, email it to friends and family. So that's really nice for the browsing feature. Now. What I want to recommend is changing the settings, and this is the only way where you will not destroy your battery life. So how do you do that? Hit settings, go into the um, login here, and the defaults are admin, admin, press done. Now, what we want to do is go to Wi-Fi options. And in here, the default is direct share, which is what we're doing. We're sharing the images from here to our iPhone directly instead of going through a computer. And what we want to do is the default for the power saving mode is never, and that is bad. That means your battery will always be used to supply power to your Transcend 
SD card. I choose one minute. So after one minute, it'll turn off the Wi-Fi signal from the SD card. It'll still be able to be used as a regular SD card to take pictures, but it won't broadcast the Wi-Fi signal, which is really important to save your battery life. So right away I'm doing that, press apply. And you notice that it says the change will take effect on your next off on cycle. And they're not talking about the off on cycle of your app. They're not talking about the on off cycle of the camera. They're talking about the on off cycle of your SD card. So how do you turn off the power if turning off the camera doesn't do it for you? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the next time you turn it on, it doesn't automatically connect. All right. So, or else it'll just keep on um, being on. <laughs> um, so we're going to click on the settings again the right arrow and press forget this network and then forget, all right? Now, after this, we wanna kill the power to the card. So we open up the battery compartment and dislodge the battery. And once this is outside of the body, then we can plug it back in. This time we're gonna turn it on and in 30 seconds, you should see that uh, Wi-Fi signal come up again. Um, it's gonna turn off the Wi-Fi turn it back on and it's going to be the longest like you know 30 seconds um, um doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh my video machine might just die and not have any more batteries for me here but in the meantime i shall entertain you with some of my some lego pieces yes yes ninjago rules and i have no idea why this guy's got horns but yeah oh oh <laughs> Oh, look, there's the Wi-Fi SD. Now, because we changed the setting there so that it will turn off in one minute, in another minute, that should disappear. And when that happens, that means the battery is no longer powering the SD card, which means you're not sucking the life out of your Fuji. So it's a little bit roundabout to have to, you know, forget the network and then dislodge the battery and then make sure you're not automatically connecting next time. But it's the, it's the only way that I found to reliably um, make sure that we're not going to destroy the battery life of our Fuji by doing that. Wait, wait, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Okay, let's see here. So we've still got this Wi-Fi signal going on and the longest one minute of my life because I'm terribly impatient. Um, and my battery is almost dead. And yeah, anyways, <clears throat> so transcend. Links below, we highly recommend it. They come with a 32 gigabyte version, but because we shoot medium JPEGs, this one holds like thousands of images too. So really nice, um, highly recommended. That Wi-Fi say no, come on, you should be disappeared by now. Go, go, go gadget car. Um, so, and you can do it. Oh, and it's disappeared. We are done. My battery is dead. Thank you for watching. And so that's how to make sure that your Transcend card can actually be used properly and not destroy your battery life. Thanks for watching.